MedStar says they will expect the volume of calls to increase significantly once those triple-digit temperatures return. Fox Sports Amelia joins Jones live with more on how first responders are preparing. Amelia. Hey, Blake. Next week, when the triple-digit heat returns, people need to remember that these temperatures, they can be dangerous. Tarrant County has reported four deaths related to heat so far this summer. While a break from the excessive heat feels better, temperatures ramp back up next week. First responders like MedStar are preparing for an increase in calls for heat-related illness. This is not a time for people to become complacent with following those very important heat-related precautions. The Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office says four people died this month because of the heat. One report says on July 3rd, a 74-year-old man died in his house. That report says he did not have working air conditioning. Another report says on July 8th, a 79-year-old woman died because she didn't have working AC either. We've had several cases where people that are over 70 or 80 years old have suffered a pretty significant heat-related illness because they've been in their home, in their apartment, where it's 81, 82 degrees or more. Zavatsky says another typical call is for people working outside. The Tarrant County Medical Examiner says on July 17th, a 77-year-old woman died after working outside in the excessive heat. Another report says a 26-year-old man died from working outside back on July 2nd. Meals on Wheels in Tarrant County is trying to help where it can. The organization is installing air conditioning units for clients who volunteer see are in need. So if they see that somebody's house is a little bit warmer than it should be or the client just isn't looking well, uh, you know, we're able to, you know, provide that immediate help to them. This is part of the TXU Energy Beat the Heat program. So far this summer, Meals on Wheels has installed 50 AC units. It's an amazing feeling to know that we're helping out one of our clients, uh, somebody who's been on our program for a while. Um, and, you know, just to know that she's going to be able to be able to survive this, this heat uh, with this new window unit. The Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office says the number of deaths related to heat could increase after more lab tests come back. If you have a loved one or a neighbor who lives alone and they may not run their AC all the time, you're encouraged to check on them next week.